I don't know, but darkness is not normally good in this in this type of game. Ah, oh, green screen. Fade in! Antarctic outpost, blah blah blah. Antarctic engineering area near a window overlooking an icy hillside and a clear sky. The team is standing. Team, greetings from the South Penis. Uh, okay, so they... In other words... Uh... Uh-huh. So they are faking that... They're using a green screen to fake that they're at the South Pole, rather than in outer space, currently. I guess technically they are on another planet, rather than outer space, but hey, whatever. What the fuck are these? Okay. There's this one conspicuous san sample right there, and I can't pick it up. How dare you. Cool. I can pick up this, though. Ah, uh, well, way ahead of you, bitch. Cool. Sure. Uh-huh. What? Okay. Why aren't you allowing me to... All right, awesome. Oh, a meerkat. Sure. Okay. Huh? What is this yellow square? Oh. Non-disclosure agreement, sure. Uh, yeah, I, I don't even read NDAs to begin with. I'm not reading a fucking virtual NDA in a fictional video game. Uh... Okay, well, actually, uh, th that's not true. If I'm handed an NDA in real life, I'll read it. I will actually read the NDA. I should cut that out. Oh, whatever. Papa Doop. Oh yeah, the Baba Duke. The fucking I was supposed to watch that movie at some point, but then I didn't. Uh Nope, that's not it.
Kirkus. Kukus? Lucas. Mission Control wants you to crunch some num- wait. Lucas, min Mission Control wants you to crunch some numbers on a potential future visit to the two moons. Think over the log logistics end of both an Earth-launched... ...and a Mars-launched mission. Work some rough calculations for both scenarios. Make this a priority. Also, have a look at the moon orbits. Phobos should be uh, 1.4 Martian diameters out with a 7.66 hour orbit, and Deimos at a th at 3.5 diameters and at 30.35 hours. But Mission Control says they showed up as significantly closer and faster. Might be a glitch. I'll leave you to it. In other words, this is basically dead space, and the the moons are sentient, and they're flying towards towards Earth to eat it. Huh. My penchant for exploration has led me astray. I'm disappointed that there was nothing useful here. Perhaps there will be at a later date. Okay, if I can't go through there, where the fuck do I go? Uh-huh. Well, there doesn't seem to be batteries like in Alien Isolation. Nor do I seem to have a map. Sure. Greetings, crewmate. Okay, yeah, those are just the rules again. I don't need no rules. All I need is a blindingly bright flashlight that is blowing my eyes out. There we go. Where the fuck? I don't understand! Lick it! Lick the rock. Or not. I don't... I can't grasp... What the fuck is happening? Uh-huh. Um, read. Samples. What? Sir oh, okay. Supplemental log regarding our ongoing survey of samples in the search of evidence for microbial life of microbial life on the planet Mars. The rule of two is an exciting concept. When we discover one example of a phenomenon in the cosmos, it is an anomaly. Given the vastness of the universe, if two samples are found, it implies there are many more. Wait, this is a thing we've already read.
I am about to freak the fuck out. Where? How? What? Oh. Modular air systems are a necessity when traversing long distances off-site. The, the NST Breathe Easy system allows for quick and easy resupply of any breathing apparatus and is co compatible with a number of attachment modules. Sure. I'm pressing next. Alright then. Cool. I have a helmet now. Is this all I need? Do I not need a suit or something? Oh. I have the suit already! Push the button! Exterior atmosphere. What? No, fuck yourself, Siri. I did not say your name. Thank you. 